the engineer of a commuter train that crashed and killed 25 people in California last year, planned to let a teenage railroad fan operate the locomotive on the night of the collision and was text messaging moments before the crash. That's according to transcripts released by the NTSB. Investigators describe a rash of safety violations in last September's deadly crash between the Metrolink train and a Union Pacific freight train that were sharing the same track just outside of Los Angeles. Besides the text messaging, other violations include everything from a light that went unheated to cell phone use. All were actions the agency says that could have caused the crash. The NTSB says the engineer of the Metrolink train, Robert Sanchez, made four cell phone calls while on duty that day and sent and received more than 40 text messages, including one just 22 seconds before the collision. They also say he sent a text message to a teenager days before the crash in which he said he planned to let the teen operate the locomotive on the night of the crash. More than two dozen people died and at least 130 people were injured when the two trains slammed head-on at 40 miles per hour. One investigator has told the NTSB's Board of Inquiry all of the evidence is consistent with the Metrolink engineer failing to stop at a red signal. Sanchez died in the crash, but the text messages indicated he allowed the teen to ride in the cab several days before the crash, even allowing him to touch the controls. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.